Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, double honor, son to the elder apostles, a great millstone for the teaching set of scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world, doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Now, I came across an idiot that uh, said that the uh, Japheth is the so called, uh, you know, these devils, these cave people. Now, um, here are a couple of simple scriptures which can show you that the uh, Esau is ruling this planet Earth right now, right? Now it says Genesis chapter 27, verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept like a bitch. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above so esau has the fatness of the earth now there's only one race on the planet earth that has the fatness of the earth until this day those are the so-called white people that's not japheth this is not uh, a prophecy that fits japheth this is a prophecy that fits these devils <coughs> these so-called ca caucasian people you know so okay going on and by thy sword shall thou live. Yes. Because with the sword he has taken over the whole world. World. As I stated. Um, world map. It says, um, wait, let me, let, me let, let, let it go on. Okay. And by thy sword thou shalt live. It says, there are only 22 countries in the world that the British haven't invaded. And it says, Honduras, Belarus, Bolivia. Yeah, well, I'm not going to call all these names. Vatican City. Well, they did invade that because they came out the goddamn caves. They wasn't even supposed to be there. So, in Sweden, they didn't. Oh, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about right now and stuff like that. But in the beginning, they did this already. They already invaded this. They already invaded these countries. But then, um, um, countries. list of countries in um, America had war with okay pop China Korea China again Guatemala Indonesia well as you can see Belgian Congo the Congo area of course that he here um, also King Leopold the second King Leopold the second the second of Belgium Murdered over, uh, how you call it, and um, he murdered over 16 million Jakes in Congo, man. This is what he used to do, but uh, I don't want to focus on that. Now, the, th the thing that I actually wanted to focus on is um, Esau because they're the devil, but um. Um, I oh, kind of went off track over there, but it was it was it was it was good too. It was good too. Anyway, let's let's just show it because I actually need it. Okay, uh, there's only twenty countries in this planet Earth that uh, the British twenty two countries that the British did not invade, but actually they did because the Congo, well, not the British, let um the Dutch did uh, the. The Belgians did this. They went into Congo, as you can see, this goddamn fucking devil, Satan. He went over there, and he did this. It says, natives shot and mutilated by Congo soldiers. It was no Congo soldiers. It was Edomites uh, that went over there. And this is what he was doing. It says, King Leopold, a mass murderer, colonized the Congo Zaire and killed 
uh, 10 to 15 million uh, Africans between 1885 and 1908. His murderous escapade, terrorism, and brutal brutality against Africans make Hitler look like a choir boy. And it does. And these are Jakes. A lot of them are actually Israelites in the Congo area. But uh, going on. So when it says here that uh, the British did not invade the Congo, well, another cracker did it, and that's this guy, King Leopold. So the point I'm trying to make is real quick because I really don't want to make it too long. Uh, all these places have been invaded by other Edomites, like, for example, America or, or, or you know, Europe, you know, the rest of Europe and stuff like that, French, whatever. These devils, right? And it says, uh, okay, pop, 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 pop. Since the World War II, all these, all these. So going to the world map. Now, it's 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 kind of mercury. I mean blurry. Okay. Okay, check. Now, these these devils. They have fought. I'm trying to look for a good one. Now, they have brought war to here, to Canada. Rape, rob, murder. Rape, rob, murder. The native, the native, uh, the native Canadian, uh, uh, native, yeah, how you call them? Well, they're Israelites, but uh, they have a word, native Canadian, right? And these are then the Native Americans, so-called Native Americans, so-called Native Canadian, Canadians, the so-called uh, Native South Americans, you know. Mexicans and um here let me just let me just draw it real quick man uh, rape rob murder this whole continent okay they rape rob murder this this whole area okay they rape rob murder this whole area and they're still stealing mineral resources here here and um here they stole the gold because I, I was in the 80s you know and the 90s I mean looking at the uh, movies about cowboys and Indians and they were shooting them Indians and they was they was always having them gold mine rush and then pe some people will go crazy yeah you know that type of shit and then they would shoot their gun <laughs> right so that they the devil they stole all the gold over here they stealing the diamonds and uh, mineral resources over here to make cell phones so each and every cell phone that everybody owns um, actually, the people from West Coast, from Africa, they actually have the rights to that telephone because you're using their uh, mineral resources of that land. So, yeah. Anyway, going on, World War One, World War Two. they fought with these people over here, had wars with them. So, Esau actually took over the whole world with the sword. The only place that they don't really have, um, you know, a... Uh, the foot down basically is in the Middle East, and that's where all, everything started, and that's where the Most High is going to end it. See, it it um it began in the middle. Life began in the Middle East, right around here, and um it's going to end in the Middle East with that World War Three. Everything is coming back to the origin. Now, going back to over here, it says, "And by thy sword shall thou live." And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happened in the book of Second Kings, chapter 8, verse 20. In his days, Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah and made a king over themselves. So Joram went over to Zaire and all the chariots with him. And he rose by night and smote the Edomites which compassed him about. And the captains of the chariots and the people fled into their tents. Yet Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah unto this day. Then Libna revolted at the same time. Now, it says Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah unto, unto this day. And um, that's where we have... Um, let me let me get that Ezekiel chapter twenty five verse twelve only, 
Thus saith the Lord Power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. Vengeance for what? For what we did unto them here. And uh, first and foremost, for what we did unto them here. We took their birthright, if you read the whole book of Genesis chapter 27. That's one of the biggest reasons that they want to actually um, kill us, murder us. And had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. That's, that's what Esau has done. Okay, Japheth has not done that. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse, um, I started 5 because if you read chapter three, verse 3, it's talking about Mount Seir. And Mount Seir is referring to the people. See, Mount Seir is a people before it's a place. It's referring to a people before it refers to a place. Now it says, because thou had had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Yes, our iniquity had an end. And that end, uh, that end was, um, that iniquity, judgment for that was slavery. and But they didn't want to end it. Or... They did not want to end that slavery, right? Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. They're going to expose themselves. For example, and, um, they're going to make a lot of mistakes too. For example, Edward Snowden, uh, Julius Assange. You know, they make it their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Uh, Psalms 46 and 8. Right. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He is the Most High Yahweh. He will visit the Most High Yahweh, will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. That's why Esau is getting exposed right now. How are the things of Esau searched out? First of all, foremost, to the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Then on, uh, 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 up on down unto the elders. And then uh, unto the brothers. And also Esau himself making his own tongue fall upon himself. So this, this is a quick um, example that uh, Esau is ruling. Because Esau, Esau is the one that, that lives by the sword. And what is the modern day sword? The modern day guns, man. The, uh, I mean the guns. That's the modern day sword. And Esau is having fun with them. Popping people, you know. Crimes in uh, Iraq or whatever. This is what happened to the people in Iraq after that Esau came out of there. <laughs> oh shit, boy. <laughs> they look fucked up. But think about it. These motherfuckers had us in slavery too, so fuck them. They look fucked up, boy. But hey, this is what you get when you fucking put your hands on the children of Israel. The Mosai is going to use the sword... Uh, the sword of uh, him, of him, and the Most High, his sword is um, is Esau, man. Psalms chapter seventeen, verse and, um, thirteen. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yep, the wicked is the sword. Of the Heavenly Father. Now, Job 9 and 24. Yeah. Deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword. From men which are thy hand. O Yahweh. O Lord. From men of the world. Which have their, por which have their portion in this life. And whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substances, 
substance to their babes. These devils always leaving everything up to their children. And they're rich. And they're full of children too. You know? And uh, Job chapter 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah. Because Esau is the one that, that rules this planet earth right now. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yep, and he's covering the faces of the judges with the ultimate judges, the Heavenly Father, and, and then his son, and then we as the saints. We're the one that's uh, that's actually judges. First Corinthians chapter 6 speaks about that. Verse 2. Do ye not uh, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Uh, we, we are the we are the saints of the heavenly Father, um, and the saints are the judges. And I think it was one hundred and ninety four. So lucky. One hundred forty eight. One hundred forty eight. The last verse, he exalted, he, that he is taught, 140, Psalms 148 and 14. He also, the, the most high is the, let, let me read here. Let him, uh, let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He, Yahweh, the most high Yahweh, the Lord, the heavenly father. He also, the father of spirits, he also exalted the horn of his people the horn meaning and the power just like how david king david by the way was uh, anointed in a horn which represents power and uh, ex king saul he was anointed in a flask which which represents not not power okay um, he also exalted the horn of his people it doesn't mean that his people have horns he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his his saints, even of the children of Israel. Those are the saints. A people near unto him, praise she, Yahweh. Now, as I, as I just read, and um, we're the saints, and we're gonna we have been covered up by this devil. He made us look like uh, cave people, like uh, Israelis. Like these devils, you know. They um, you know, they cover the faces of the judges thereof. These are not the judges; they're the devil. Little cracker kids, I'm gonna burn them in fire. Can't wait. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say, uh, Shalom and Esau is the devil. That's the so-called white people. The word uh, de devil means deceiver, and yeah, that's what they are, and they're fucking evil. They're a satanic bunch of people. And the Heavenly Father is going to judge them pretty soon. Real soon. And that's what we're waiting for. We're just waiting for the judgment of the Heavenly Father to come down upon Idumia. And let his sword bathe in their blood. Because the Heavenly Father, his son, Yahweh Shai, he's going to do some old-fashioned killing when it comes to these devils. They're going to get wiped out, man. Wipe. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And Esau is the so-called white man, okay? The, the, the white male, the cave male, you know? The Caucasian male. That's what they are. So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.